Oh, what's up, everybody? It's back with Call Out Children Week, YouTube's favorite show. Thank you, everybody. Hey, guys, my name is Leafy here. And it's time for me to continue this show where I call out little children. That's right. As long as I'm self-aware of that's what I'm doing, then it's okay. You know what? I'll eat my left testicle. If Leafy quits and never uploads a video. I'm serious. 100%. I'm saying it right now. It's not a call out. I will eat my left testicle. Uh, excuse me. Uh, he never confirmed that he's leaving forever. So stop sending this video to me, you cybernetic bullyings, okay? Leafy, please don't ever quit, please. I was wrong. <laughs> Come back, Leafy. But in the meantime, guys, it's me. I'm going to continue. Let's begin this video, everyone. There is no what if. I am pregnant. And it is Jesus. <laughs> there is no what if. I am the best YouTuber. Oh. Baby Jesus said it, everyone. So you know it's true. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> Teen says she's pregnant with baby Jesus, everybody. Oh boy. Let me just guess. She's just fat. I'm calling it right now. I'm nine months pregnant. My family, my friends, my pastors at church, they don't believe that I'm pregnant. I'm not stupid. I'm not crazy. I'm tired of playing these games and it's about to be over with. I am now. Is that her sister or mom? She's just like, she's crazy. I don't know what to tell you, man. She's crazy. My daughter's a lunatic. She's just getting fat and she blames it on Jesus. I don't care what y'all saying. I'm not crazy. I'm not stupid. Typically what crazy and stupid people usually say. I am now days away from giving birth and they're like, you're not pregnant. You're uh, too tiny. You're probably just getting fat. You know what? I bet you they're all haters, okay? They're just hating on you and baby Jesus. By the way, guys, I don't know if you realize it. I am pregnant with baby Jesus as well. Mm. Just five more days. You haters better not say anything. Shh. He could hear you. Say something, baby Jesus. This is library. Oh. One of my biggest temptations is wanting to whack you across the head. I know it's Jesus. I don't care if my family disowns me. It really comes down to if you're a true believer in Jesus or not. So, sorry, I feel like I haven't really understand. There's an important distinction that hasn't been made here. Uh, did Jesus impregnate her or is baby Jesus inside of her? I want to know at least what I'm expecting here. I know it's Jesus. I know you're crazy. There's no denying that. Oh no, she's just fat. Oh no. She's just gonna give birth to a fat lard. Oh no. Well, and you know, that's not so bad either. If you see something that doesn't look right, we'll sort it. I know my pregnancy is real. You yeah, have gained at least 22 pounds. Oh my god, she gained at least 22 pounds. So that's how you know you're pregnant. Oh god. Did she do a test at least? Has she done a test? I took six urine tests. Six tests? And what do they say? And they all came back negative. I bet you those tests were haters. Stop hating! Stop! I love everybody! The doctors have refused to give me a blood test. I don't care what the home pregnancy test or the doctor say. When I give birth to my baby, no one is going to deny him because oh he is my, my savior. God. <laughs> Look at her. You know what? You're all gonna look really silly later, okay? You're the fools. I'm preggy. S-A-F. With baby Jesus. How did the baby Jesus get in the picture? I understand if she's pregnant and she want, doesn't want to blame it on, like, who the guy is. So it's like, oh, it's baby Jesus, right? Maybe she is pregnant. Maybe that's it, you know? She went off with some other guy. She doesn't want to admit it, so she blames it on baby... That would make sense. Let's see what her family says. You're I am pregnant. Then crazy. why are you denying my kid? <laughs> uh, you're not pregnant. I am 
pregnant. You're not pregnant. Then why are you denying my kid? Hmm? My daughter thinks she's pregnant and she's not. My daughter is a compulsive liar and delusional. She lives in like her own little fantasy world. My sister Haley is crazy. She actually thinks her baby's Jesus. The first time I heard her say that, she was saying it was Jesus Christ in her stomach. That's all you can say. You're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. <laughs> yes, there it is. I knew it. We are all just jealous that I'm pregnant with Baba Jesus. You're not pregnant. You're just jealous. That's the main defense of lunatics. <laughs> I mean, I would honestly, if it's true, I am actually a little jealous. I'll admit that. I'll be that honest at least. Looked at her like she had lost her mind. She was just going off into a delusional tailspin. She's not pregnant and never has been. I gave her two home pregnancy tests and they came up negative and then I took her to the clinic and they even did a pelvic- What the hell is this editing, dude? Brad 2, you gotta step it up. Look at these effects, man. Huh? Where's my Dr. Felix thing, huh? It's coming out of Haley's mouth that's usually a lie. She manipulates her way through sex, bribing someone. And some of her lies are the rapper Eminem was her dad. She wait, no, the knife is just too much. What? Her dad is Eminem? Wait, so. <laughs> try and wrap my head around it. So, so Eminem is the dad. So Eminem is related to Jesus? The offspring of Eminem. Uh, let's just get. Let's just stick with the pregnancy thing, please. This is. Okay, so let's get into, let's just jump into the main, the myth, the legend, Dr. Phil. I know we're all waiting for the results. Is she pregnant with baby Jesus or not? Well, let's find out. Place your bets, everybody, down in the comments down below. What do you think? Oh my god, they brought a whole thing in the studio, of course. This is why I love television. <laughs> Have you, Mr. Fisher, just a little bit? This is my first ultrasound. <laughs> oh no, she's all happy about it. Oh, I got a, I got a bad feeling about this, man. Look at that. That's not nine months pregnant. That's just a little chub. And there's no shame in that. No shame in that. You hear that? That's baby Jesus. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Oh my god. Well, the doctor will give you any results. Oh, they're not even gonna tell her! <laughs> Do you see him? Is he there? Is baby Jesus in my belly? Well, joining us now is Dr. Travis Stork. He's ER physician and host of the Emmy Award winning show, The Doctors. So please welcome Dr. Stork. He delivers babies and his name is Dr. Stork. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> baby Jesus. Dr. Stewart, what this is a big old cuckoo house. What is going on here? <laughs> He's just like, please don't joke about my name. Yes, my name is Dr. Stork. Stop, please. God, stop. I guess there's a certain irony here that your name is Dr. Stork. Uh, and <laughs> Dr. Phil, that was my joke. How dare you? I'm the only one that ever thought about that. He's like, Jesus Christ, that's a 500 million time. Make it stop, please. Make the suffering go away. How did that go? Was the technician nice to you? And It was really nice. Like, I never, that was my first ultrasound. And oh, look, she it was kind of weird. Like, she was pressing really hard and mm. stuff. And I could feel him kick and stuff, but it was, it was kind of weird. Right. Come on, is she pregnant or is she not? Let us get the news. Come on. Can you can you walk us through it? We're, we're going to... Oh Show my right god. Here. Uh, oh my god. Scenario, anyone, whichever you'd like to do. Well, you know, it's interesting because I feel the most notable thing on this ultrasound is that there's nothing there. And this is a pelvic ultrasound and the ultrasound machine is basically showing your abdomen the area exactly where you would expect to see the pregnancy. And there is no baby. Well, there you have it everybody. <laughs> oh god, they yeah, had no that there's no there's no baby. There's no baby Jesus. Show a pregnancy until maybe five or six weeks along, but there's absolutely no way Haley's giving birth in nine days. Uh, excuse me. That's what a hater would say. Okay, I'm pregnant. All right. 
Oh, man. I feel bad now. Like, she's clearly just delusional. And her family is not doing much to help, are they? As usually the case. She did finally, though. After a while. Don't worry, she accepted that she's not pregnant, okay? So, I researched it on Google, and I was like, what's going on? Why did my stomach go flat to have a miscarriage? And I waited a couple of days, but my stomach just kept getting smaller and smaller. And then I started bleeding. Nothing came out except blood. So, I mean, some, I think the baby would have came out. Oh my god, look at that. That is the face of a mother that is completely done. Or she has some serious back issues and she cannot move physically an inch. One of those. I mean, were you not pregnant? No, I wasn't. You weren't pregnant? Aww. Why do you <laughs> think you thought you were pregnant? Because I've never been pregnant before. And my stomach had swelled up to a very large amount. Mm -hmm. And I've never had it swollen up like that before. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. But why baby Jesus? <laughs> Can we at least talk about that? At the time, I was so against it because... Oh, she didn't accept I it, didn't it right it away? I didn't think it was an ultrasound, but... Oh, my God. W when you saw it, you, you thought maybe it wasn't real? Yeah. And, in fact, I think you told Dr. Stork to shove it. <laughs> Uh, how you feel? <laughs> she told Dr. Stork, what? Wow, incredible. So she went on treatment, she got some uh, psychiatric help, and uh, this is her response to it. Other than being helped, you don't see how it helped? Uh, other than being helped, I mean, <laughs> I don't see how it helped me at all. <laughs> other than being helped. <laughs> That is some 500,000 IQ level. Other than being helped, it just didn't help me at all. It was completely useless. Other than completing the thing that it was supposed to do, it didn't complete the thing it was supposed to do at all. And I am so disappointed. Look at Dr. Phil when, when she says this. Defended you. <laughs> All right, that's it, everybody. No, just kidding. There's a part two of this. That's right. Her dad is Eminem coming up in next episode. If this video gets 5 million likes, I will upload part 2 of this. Thank you guys for watching. Very much appreciate it. This has been Leafy calling out children. She's actually 20, so I don't feel as bad. Remember to hit that bell button and show all the support that you can do. That's right, the more support I get, the more ego my boost gets boosted. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you. I don't fucking know. <laughs>